Hi, this is Jethro Jones, host of the Transformative Principle Podcast and the Transformative Leadership Summit. I'm pretty much releasing these teasers alphabetically, but they will be arranged in the four aspects of the school experience, the administrator experience, the teacher experience, the student experience, and the parent community experience. Enjoy this selection. I hope you can join us at the Transformative Leadership Summit. Go to transformativeleadershipsummit.com. I'm offering the all-access pass at an early bird rate, so check it out by scrolling down to the bottom of that page to save some money. Enjoy this teaser with Joe Sanfilippo. And, Pete, you know, that emotional connection of feeling what it's like to actually, like, you know, own the learning process does two things. First of all, it makes you more empathetic to the people that around you to make sure that you know what you know, that like you're invested in it. But the other thing it does is if you then, if we transfer that over to kids and they're not allowing personalized learning opportunities for kids, then we can go circle back and have the conversation about, you know what, you like it when we let you own your learning, right? Well, what if kids felt that way? So we try to, you know, understand that this is a, this is like, this journey is theirs at the same time. We're not just sending them out to say, go do it. And then we'll see you in, you know, we'll see you in June and then we'll see you again in September. We want to make sure that the experience is something that they take away from, you know, whatever they take away from the experience, it means something to them. And so when I started with that group of people, I said, I just need people to get better. And I don't care how they get better because it's not my journey but they need to get better. And so we sat down and said, okay, so what does that really look like? And uh, we talked to people about, you know, start with passion. After you find passion, we'll figure out how to measure it later. And we live in a school district where there's like, we have like 60 or 70 kids per grade level. So if all the third grade kid teachers at the end of the year were to say, well, these third graders really need whatever. And then four, because they take, you know, we take these tests that determine that that's what they need. And then three kids move out of the district and three kids move into the district. Well, now all of a sudden you've got a totally different data set because you don't know what the whole thing, you know, because we have a trans, the transient nature of, of what happens. And now we're developing a process for a group of people that's no longer there, which is kind of ridiculous. So what we said to everybody was, if when it comes down to what we do, if we're growing teachers, then it doesn't matter who's going to be in front of us because we're growing teachers. And if our teachers are getting better, in turn, our students will get better because we're allowing that opportunity to personalize their learning. (laughs) 